Our next guest is a comedian who's the co-host of the Double Date podcast and can be seen live at Comedy on State in Madison, Wisconsin, July 11th through the 13th. Please welcome the very funny Shane Moss. Oh, thank you, guys. It's nice to be back. I, uh, I love being a comedian. This is an amazing job to have. Uh, the longest job that I had before this, I worked for four years at a furniture factory in Wisconsin, where I'm from. Uh, I worked there with a bunch of Mexicans and a bunch of racists, so that was an interesting dynamic. Uh, racist people, if you're white, they just tend to assume that you're just going to be on board with whatever horrible rants that they want to go on. It's very uncomfortable. So I'd be in the break room, just kind of hanging out, minding my own business, and all of a sudden some guy would come barging in, Stan Mexicans are taking all our jobs. Then in the next breath, he'd be like, and why don't they learn to speak the language? <laughs> um, why? Do you want them taking more of your jobs? <laughs> uh, you're a miserable, lazy bigot who nobody likes. English is the only thing you have going for you. <laughs> Believe me. They're taking all our jobs. Well, that's quite convenient for me. Jobs are my least favorite thing about life. <laughs> I hate jobs. That's why I do this silly crap. <laughs> no, you don't understand, Shane. These Mexicans, they come in here, they bring all these drugs into our country. Uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that the Mexicans, they're going to come here. They're going to bring me drugs. <laughs> And do my job? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I think we're going to need a lot more Mexicans. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the gay debates. Everyone's all worried. So, oh, the gays are coming. Oh no, the gays. The root of all that, if we're honest with ourselves, is that a bunch of straight guys have a problem with gay men. And why? Because they don't have sex with women? That's more women for the rest of us. That's amazing news. I wish I were the only straight man on earth. Do you have any idea how amazing my life would be? There would be women flying from around the globe. Do you understand? There would be a line outside my house, miles long. Every day it would be a Miss Universe pageant on my penis. <laughs> As hard as it is to get a woman you like, you're worried about what gay men are doing? If anything, straight guys, you should be upset at lesbians. They're taking perfectly good vaginas right off the market. <laughs> That's some bull <laughs> Thanks. I don't mean to be political. I don't, I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican. I don't know anything about health care or finance. Or I'd have health care and finances. <laughs> And I'm not preaching gay tolerance either, by the way. I find that word tolerance insulting. Oh, oh, I tolerate you. Oh, I tolerate your behavior that I don't actually agree with. How about indifference? Who cares what anyone does in their bedroom? I don't want some government guy with a clipboard in my bedroom monitoring my every move. I mean, it might be cool the first couple times. <laughs> hey, buddy, check this out. <laughs> Well, then once he tries to tell me what I can't do, well, screw off. Because I'm not even that kinky of a guy, but I'll mix it up from time to time. <laughs> My girlfriend and I recently, we experimented with a little bit of hot wax, and um, that was fun. That <laughs> seems kind of mild to me. But who knows? Is that going to be illegal? I don't know. I made a little candle in her butt, now I'm going to jail. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Me? The one guy trying to bring manufacturing back to the U.S.? <laughs> I'm in trouble? Thank you guys very much. For wonderful offer. Thank you. That's hilarious. Oh, thank you. Always funny. Thanks. Shane Moss, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show.